Well, in the past, we would front load so much of the information where we would go over vocabulary, have the kids predict. We would give them so much information that when it got down to them really actually reading it, they really didn't need to comprehend all of it because we had given them so much already. And what we found was that when you give kids a piece of reading, they don't know how to read it. They have a hard time making meaning out of it, and they don't know that they need to go back and reread. So this is a way to show them that you can do this. Using the close reading strategy with this article really enables the students to delve into the actual text and get a lot of meaning from the text, which then can supplement the labs that we do in the classroom because then they see the why they're doing what they're doing in the classroom and how it can impact them or affect them outside of the classroom. It gives them a purpose for why are we doing what we're doing. We read the article three times. The first time we read was just for the students to get a gist of what the overall article was saying. The second time we read it, the students actually made notes in the margin and made any questions that they had about the reading. The third time we read the article was to identify the effect of transgenic crops on the organic food market. Periodic Lebanon says transgenic alfalfa, alfalfa cannot be used to feed cows that produce organic milk. Okay, but if, it's, if the modified seed gets gets to the net, gets to another farm. It's going to take away the organic value that people, pay, that people pay extra money for. How are those cows then getting the transgenic seed? The transgenic seed will be like blown over. Do you remember what vocabulary word that was in there that, exp that is defined by that when it's blown over? Is it pollen drift? This article also talks about real world impacts because it relates to something very simple as what they are eating. And I don't think that the students really realize that if they're buying organic, it may not be organic or 100%. And then it gives them a voice. The organic alfalfa will um, produce milk that's not organic anymore due to the fact that they ate the um, transgenic alfalfa. There's 22 states, that's not what organic buyers want and that's not what they're paying for. Students in college and careers are going to have to be able to read things that are somewhat challenging for them and we need to give them strategies that they can take maybe something that's difficult for them and make meaning out of it and to teach them that it is okay to read things multiple times that you may not get the, the gist or the meaning or, or whatever in one simple read and you'll be finished.